What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Um, this is a free general collective reading, cut through Sagittarius, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, I got a channel message in, so I decided to do this reading. It's a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. So the channel I received was um, someone that completely treated someone like trash in the past. I heard a single parent um, is very, very, very regretful. Um, position of high authority, I heard. Position of authority. Um, I heard they're about to help the single parent out in huge ways. So, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So. Uh, single parent energy, so you could be the single parent or you could be the position of authority. Um, you have to plug in your life however it resonates, if it resonates, if it resonates for you. You could be somebody that's connected to one of these people or you could be one of these people. Single parent energy, so you could be a single mother or single father um, and a position of high authority. Now, I didn't hear what occupation the position of high, high authority is employed in, um, but they are employed somewhere as a position of high authority. I heard they treated the single parent like trash in the past, um, but they're hugely regretful and they're about to help the single parent out in a huge way. Um, so that's beautiful, that's beautiful. So you plug it in however that resonates. Yeah, I shuffled, we got change on the bottom of the deck. A lot of change, We I, I've had a lot of change energy in my readings, a lot, and like quick change soon coming up. Um, quick, quick change in the uh, collective. Quick change energy. So 555 five, five change energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Let's see if we hear anything. Huge positive changes coming to this dynamic. Huge. Realizing who's real and who's not. Now. Wow, that's that's beautiful. Okay, position of high authority, if this resonates for you. I heard lots of positive, uh, big positive changes coming to this situation, realizing who's real now and who's not. So whoever you are, I mean, I don't know what occupation you, uh, you are employed in position of high authority. You have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you do fit in this story, but you are in position of high authority. And I heard um, you treated a single parent like trash in the past. So like, crap on a shoe, uh, just being pro pro, treat them like crap on a shoe, um, but um, I heard you realize who's real now and who's not, so I think you realize the single parent's really the real deal, um, or they truly care, um, maybe about their children, because I heard single parents, so I think maybe you thought they didn't care about their child or children, and they do, or they didn't care about a situation, and they do, or they didn't care about something, and they do, um, or somebody lied on them and you're realizing that it's not the truth however that resonates I feel like it could go any of those ways but you plug it in how it resonates so um change energy um quick change here um respect now respect about to about to help out in a huge way okay i heard respect now respect about to about to help out in a huge way um, so respect for the single parent. So respect for the single parent. Uh, at one time, position of high authority, you didn't, but now you have much respect for the single parent, uh, which is a change in you too. That's the change in you too, change in you, and um, uh, positive changes. Um, so I'm thinking the dynamic between you and this uh, single parent are positive. So it's going to be positive. Um, and it sounds like it's going to continue to be positive if both of you grow it to be positive. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling here. Most certainly positive. Won't, wants what's best in this situation. Okay, I heard most certainly positive. Wants what's, wants what's best in the situation. So you know the single parent wants what's best in the situation. Now, whatever situation that is and however it applies in your life in whatever shape, form, or fashion, um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you are the position of authority or if you are the parent. But the um, you position of high authority, it sounds like you have respect for this single parent now because you truly realize this single parent 
wants what's best for the situation. Maybe you were lied to and said they didn't want what's best for maybe their child or children or a situation or something, but now you're real realizing they do. I feel this could resonate in a million different ways. I feel like it could resonate regarding their child or children. It could resonate regarding their workplace. Uh, if we're talking about the single parent, it could resonate regarding because your position of authority. So you plug into them in some shape or fashion. Uh, maybe your governmental entity agency energy and you interact with them in some shape, form, or fashion, like child protective service energy or um, or local or state entity energy. Um, maybe you work for the school system. Maybe you work. Um, maybe you work in the legal sector. Maybe you're an officer. Um, maybe you're a judge. Maybe you're a lawyer. I mean, I'm just trying to plug in situations how it would resonate. Um, position of authority versus single parent. Trying to figure out um, ways they would interact. Oh, maybe you're their boss, manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. You plug it in how it resonates, but you realize they want what's best for the situation now. I think in the past you were lied to and said they didn't, or you just felt like they didn't, or maybe somebody gossiped and slandered their name and it gave you a bad perspective and mindset. And now you're really seeing things clearly for what they are or you're about to. How that resonates? Here. Okay. Okay, I've heard try again. Wealthy man upright. Number 13 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 13 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible social number, possible um, green card number, um, jersey number, etc., etc., etc. Wealthy man. A particular donation to a tarot card reading channel is about to be very significant soon. And a particular donation to a program, educational program, is about to become very significant soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Donation energy in here. So I heard a particular do um, donation to a tarot card reading channel is about to become um, very significant soon. I didn't hear how much the donation was. I didn't hear who it was for. There's a million tarot card readers out in the universe. So um, it could be you, tarot card reader, that's about to receive this donation um, or um, somebody else. But somebody in the universe is about to receive a donation, it sounds like, from a wealthy masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine um, to their channel, to their business. Um, and a particular donation to a education um, program, I heard, is about to become very significant as well. Now, education program, that to me could actually be in a school district, like a private school, a public school, or a, um, or a um, technical school, or, um, or a college, or, a, um, or it could be in a company to an educational program in the company. Um, however that resonates, um, however that resonates, that's beautiful. So I think this is you, position of high authority, I think you're a wealthy person. I think you're a wealthy person, uh, position of high authority, and you're about to donate one to a reader and one to a specific program in some kind of educational department um, in like I said, whether that's a college, a technical college, community college, a Ivy League college, a, um, um, high school, a uh, public school, private school, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're about to donate. Um, that's beautiful. Um, whoever you are, I feel you could be a femme that takes on masculine energy or a masculine energy. How would that resonate? Spirit messages, you have to focus.
child, number 18, could be very significant, number 18, could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible um, jersey number, possible um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, number 18, child. A particular child is about to get a lot of help soon. A lot of help. And a particular single parent is about to be able to afford care for their children when they're working. Wow, this is beautiful. This is, I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, I'm serious. So you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a particular um, child's about to start getting a lot of help soon, a lot of help and assistance, and it's going to be very effective. Know this. Okay, I heard it's going to be very effective. Know this. So this child, help for this child is going to be very effective. Know this. So um, I think you, position of high authority, you're going to help out this child. I think you're going to help out this child um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Maybe it's a single, uh, single parent's child. Um, it's what I'm feeling. For some of you, you could work in the education um, sector, or you could, um, or you could um, be just care about this, uh, um, care about the situation, and help out in some sh shape or fashion. That's what I'm feeling. Um, that's what I'm feeling. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, or you just care about the situation. Like I said, you just care about the situation. But um, however it resonates, I heard this child is about to get lots of help. Lots of help, and it's going to be very effective. Know this. So there's a child out there that needs help in some shape, form, or fashion. Maybe I uh, feel for some of you guys, this parent is um, about to reach out for help, or they already have reached out for help. Um, and I think for some, you've prejudged them in the past, um, but um, you're about to um, help them out in some shape, form, or fashion. And I heard um, one, uh, so one, the child's going to get lots of help, and one, the um uh the parent the parent is going to get um some kind of a uh heard some kind of assistance to be able to um uh have their ch uh, child or children watch while they go uh, while they're at work basically so some kind of like child care um money uh, i don't know if it's like a voucher or a stipend or somebody's going to donate it or um or somebody's just going to give it to somebody, or I don't know. Um, but um, however that this plugs in um, in your life, it could resonate in many different ways for many different people. But however it resonates, some single parent out there is about to get some some kind of financial assistance to help um, pay for some kind of child care services while they're at work. Um, so that way they don't have to worry um, about their children. And absolutely, and um a child is about to get assistance and help lots of assistance and help i feel it is this could be homeschool this could be public school this could be private school um some kind of educational assistance um i heard it's really going to be effective for the child spirit messages oh mature man main female reversed Number five or two could be very significant numbers in um, your life, possibly five or two. These could be possible ages of children, possibly that you that are yours or somebody you're connected to, two or five. A particular masculine energy is about to really break it off with a very toxic karmic. It has been very hard to do for a long time, but they're about to do it. This person is very addicting, but they're breaking free of addictions. Okay, well, okay, so you go with your bad self. Um, whoever you are, I think you're wealthy and you're mature. I think you're same energy. I think you're wealthy and you're mature. Um, and um, I heard this person is very addicting. It's like some kind of secret third party energy is what I'm feeling. Um, because they're just going to break it off with them. So, you know, it's no legality. It's not like you're legally married to them. It's uh, I don't even feel you're public with them. Um, for some of you guys, uh, for some of you might be public, like a girlfriend or boyfriend, but I don't feel it's very serious. Um, 
And if it's not, I feel it's like a third party situation ship type energy, not serious. Um, so, or some kind of secret relationship, how that resonates. But I heard basically, um, the relationship and it sounds like I heard with the karmic. So it's an adult. It's not like some pedophilia energy. Thank God. Um, but, uh, cause that's just creepy. It's just creepy. But I feel you have sex addiction and sex addiction. I can't speak. Sex addictions is what I'm trying to say. Masculine energy, masculine mature energy. I feel you have sex addictions, but I heard you're breaking free of the addictions. I think you're mentally training yourself to break free of the break free of the addictions. And kudos to you. It's hard to do. Um, it's hard to do. It, it is. Um, it's hard to do. But you're never going to progress in life if you don't take the steps. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard, but it takes 30 days to make a habit. Um, if anybody that helps anybody. I'm just saying. So um, keep keep trudging forward, masculine energy. I heard it's, um, so this is the breakup energy with this third party, not really serious situation ship, secret or girlfriend or boyfriend, not serious type of relationship. Um, not stable, not grounded, not reliable, not dependable. Um, energy, I'm not saying they're not, but the relationship's not, um, if that makes sense. So, uh, main, female, main female reverse. So, um, breakup energy. I think it's reversed because of breakup energy. I think the relationship's not stable, grounded, reliable, dependable. I'm not saying this person's not. They may be. They may be bringing in the Gs. Um, but the relationship's not. Um, the relationship most certainly is not. And in, for one of these situations, it is based on blackmail. And it's about to seriously backfire. Oh, my God. This is serious. Okay, I heard um, it's not. It's definitely not stable. It's not, um, the relationship's not. Not the person, but the, the person may not be too. I don't know. I didn't hear that part. But the relationship's not stable. It's not stable for you, mature masculine energy. Um, you know this. You're highly intuitive. You know this. Um, and, um, but I heard you're breaking free of addictions. So you are mentally breaking free of addictions. Um, I feel sex addictions here. I do. I do. Um. I heard it's been hard and it's been a long road, but you're finally about to do it. And kudos to you. Kudos to you because you're never, like I said, you're not going to progress if you don't take it a step at a time. And it's just the truth. And I feel for some of you guys, you're doing this for your children. I feel for some, you are parents. Maybe you're the single parent, possibly. Uh, masculine energy or femme that takes on heavy masculine. Uh, mature masculine or a mature femme. Um, I feel you might be the single parent energy for some of you guys. You have to plug it in how it resonates, but definitely, uh, definitely break it up. Blah, can't speak. Break up energy here for some of you guys. It was snowing out there earlier. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I hear anything else, but this is a really good positive read. It really, really is. I mean, it truly is. And, um, so break up energy with some kind of toxic karmic energy. Um, Toxic for you, karmic energy. I'm not saying they're toxic, but the relationship's toxic for sure. Um, helping out a single parent, child getting lots of assistance, um, big changes quickly. Um, this is beautiful. I'll pull one more. Spirit messages you have for Okay. I mean, it truly is. Thoughts reversed. Okay. It is going to piss this karmic off. Know this. But you know it needs to be done. Okay. I heard it's going to piss this karmic off. and um, But you know this. It needs to be done. So you, ma mature masculine energy or mature femme energy takes on heavy masculine with some kind of third party or not serious karmic relationship. Um, I heard they're, they're going to be pissed. So you, but you, but you know this. You're highly intuitive. You know this. You know they're going to be pissed. Um, but I heard it needs to be done. So you know it needs to be done for you. You know it needs to be done for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you have to do what's best for you. And if you have children, for your children. And that's just the truth. Thoughts reversed. Number 16 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 16, it could be a possible age of a child, of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible jersey number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Thoughts reversed. Shocking series of chain of events are going to occur soon where you're not going to give it any more thought anymore and you're just going to do it. Break up. 
and for some, the donation. Okay. I heard shocking series of chain events are going to occur soon where you're just not going to think about it anymore and you're just going to do it. Like Nike, you're just going to do it. For some, the donation. So donation either to some kind of educational program or to um, the reader's channel. Um, and for some, um, the breakup. The breakup. So you plug it in how it resonates. So thoughts rehearsed. It's going to happen quickly. I heard some kind of shocking series of chain events soon. So soon something's going to happen. It's going to, you're not going to give it any thought. You're just going to do it like Nike. Um, I think you're just going to follow your intuition. Um, I feel whoever the breakup thing is for, of course, you have to plug the messages in, how they resonate. For some, one message may resonate. For some, two plus may in this situation particularly. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. But for the breakup part, I feel you haven't, you, um, You've been wanting to hold on and hold on and hold on and hold on because you've been, I think you're sex addicted. I think you're sex addicted. And I've never been sex addicted. Um, I never have personally been sex addicted, as sex addicted myself. I haven't. But I've come damn, damn near close, to be honest with you, and I'm just being for real, for real with you. I've come damn near close in the past. And I'm serious about that. And I'm just being real. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. I have come very close to being sex addicted in the past. Um, I have, um, of course I did in a very responsible way. Um, but, um, but I did, um, and, but would I trade now for back then? No, no, um, no, I, I, I've come a long way inside myself, a long, long way. I've grown a lot as a person. I've grown a lot. I've grown a lot, um, a lot, and I would not go back. To the way um it was um was it fun yeah um uh, was i i mean would i change now no no i wouldn't because um you know everybody's got to grow and learn and um yeah it was all fun but you're not going to grow and learn in life if you don't grow you don't grow inside yourself and that's just the truth uh hopefully they help somebody out there all right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.